The anticipation surrounding the next generation of Apple Mac Studio M5 has reached a fever pitch in the tech community, and for good reason. Apple is preparing to unleash what could be the most powerful, efficient, and intelligently designed compact desktop in its entire history. This upcoming M5 series Mac Studio isn't just another incremental update, it's shaping up to be a leap that could redefine Apple's pro desktop lineup and set new benchmarks for performance and creative workflows. To truly understand the weight of what's coming, it's worth looking back at how the Mac Studio became Apple's secret weapon in the first place. When Apple first introduced the Mac Studio in early 2022, it wasn't merely releasing another desktop computer. It was creating an entirely new product category. For years, there had been a wide performance and pricing gap between the beloved 27-inch iMac and the ultra-expensive Mac Pro. Professional creators, editors, and developers had long been clamoring for a machine that offered workstation-level power without the massive footprint or the five-figure price tag. The original Mac Studio filled that gap perfectly. Compact yet mighty, silent yet blisteringly fast, it gave users the performance of the Apple M1 Ultra, essentially two Apple M1 Max chips fused together within a form factor no larger than a small cube. It packed up to 20 CPU cores and 64 GPU cores, with Apple's UltraFusion architecture enabling seamless chip integration, and it could render 8K footage, compile massive code bases, or process complex 3D scenes, all while barely making a whisper. The M2 generation that followed in 2023 doubled down on this vision. The Apple M2 Ultra took performance even further, boasting up to 24 CPU cores and a staggering 76 GPU cores. Thermal management was refined, media engines expanded, and the device's popularity skyrocketed among creative professionals. Filmmakers, musicians, software engineers, and designers embraced the Mac Studio as their compact powerhouse. But the 2024 refresh introduced an unusual twist. Apple released a confusing hybrid lineup, one model with the Apple M4 Max and another with the older Apple M3 Ultra, while the M4 Max brought tremendous efficiency gains thanks to the 3 nanometer process. The Ultra model didn't deliver the expected leap. Performance gains were incremental, not revolutionary. Many professionals skipped this iteration entirely, holding out for the true next big thing. That next big thing is the M5 generation, and early reports suggest it's going to be the largest performance jump since the original launch. Built on Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company's groundbreaking 2 Namir process, the M5 lineup promises unprecedented performance and efficiency. According to multiple industry analysts, the M5 Max chip will feature a 20-core CPU configuration, 16 performance cores, and 4 efficiency cores. That's a major jump from the 12 plus 4 configuration on the M4 Max. On the GPU side, Apple is expected to introduce 42 to 48 cores with next generation metal acceleration and real time ray tracing support, a first for Apple Silicon in a desktop. Combine that with an even more advanced neural engine, rumored to hit 80 trillion operations per second, and you've got a chip designed not just for professional editing and design, but for cutting edge AI workflows and machine learning development. The Apple M5 Ultra is where things get truly wild. Like its predecessors, it will fuse two M5 Max chips through Apple's UltraFusion architecture. But this time, early leaks point to up to 40 CPU cores, 32 performance plus 8 efficiency, and as many as 84 GPU cores. In practical terms, that could make the Mac Studio M5 ultra more powerful than many full-size desktop workstations equipped with top-tier discrete GPUs like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 1590 or AMD, Radeon Pro W7900, all while consuming a fraction of the power. A massive boost in memory bandwidth is expected, with support for up to 256 GB of unified LPDDR6 RAM. This increase will allow professionals to handle larger, more complex datasets in AI research, 3D rendering, or 8K multicam editing without hitting memory bottlenecks. Apple is also rumored to be moving to PCIe 5.0-based SSD storage, potentially enabling read-write speeds exceeding 10 GB ES. From a design standpoint, Apple is unlikely to overhaul the Mac Studio's iconic compact chassis. After all, its design has been widely praised for its balance of simplicity, elegance, and function. But subtle refinements are expected. A new space black finish, similar to what we've seen in the M3 MacBook Pro lineup, is rumored to make an appearance offering a sleek, 
stealthy professional aesthetic that pairs beautifully with the Apple Studio display, an upcoming second-generation studio display with a mini LED panel and promotion 120Hz support. The overall port selection will likely remain similar, featuring multiple Thunderbolt ports, HDMI 2.1, 10 GB Ethernet, USB-A, and an SDXC card reader. However, Apple may upgrade to Thunderbolt 5, which would push bandwidth up to 120 GBPs, ideal for connecting ultra-high-resolution monitors, external GPUs, or high-speed storage arrays. Thermal performance is another critical area of evolution. Thanks to the 2nm node, Apple will achieve massive gains in energy efficiency. That means the M5 Mac Studio will generate less heat while delivering far more performance, allowing Apple to maintain its signature whisper-quiet fan profile. It's very possible that users will experience near-silent operation even during demanding rendering or AI training tasks. Apple is expected to tweak the vapor chamber cooling system and airflow path inside the chassis, but externally the device will look nearly identical to previous generations, a testament to how well the original design has aged. But the power of the M5 Mac Studio isn't just about raw silicon, it's about how it integrates with Apple's broader ecosystem. By the time this machine launches, likely around WWDC 2026, Apple will have rolled out its next-generation Mac OS, either Mac OS 16 or Mac OS 17, with deep integration of its on-device AI system, Apple Intelligence. This means the neural engine and GPU cores of the M5 chip will be leveraged for real-time AI-assisted workflows. Live translation, generative background removal in video editing, intelligent color grading, AI-powered coding assistance in Xcode, and more. Creative professionals will be able to train and deploy small machine learning models directly on their desktop without relying on cloud services, keeping data private while enjoying blazing speeds. Connectivity and workflow enhancements are expected to push things further. Support for Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6E will ensure ultra-low latency connections with peripherals and accessories. Wireless file transfers for massive 8K ProRes files will be faster and more stable than ever before. Professionals working in multi-device setups will also benefit from enhanced continuity features, allowing seamless transitions between Mac Studio, iPad, and iPhone. One of the most impressive parts of the M5 Mac Studio story is its pricing strategy, or more accurately, Apple's consistency with it. Despite massive performance gains, Apple is expected to maintain the same price points as previous models, $1,999 for the M5 Max configuration and $3,999 for the M5 Ultra configuration. This pricing stability has become a defining trait of Apple's desktop strategy, allowing professionals to plan their upgrade cycles without being blindsided by sudden cost spikes. Given the performance leap, the M5 Ultra may finally feel like a true successor to the M2 Ultra model, a machine that justifies its price in both raw power and AI-driven capabilities. If we look at Apple's chip release pattern, the timeline lines up almost perfectly. M1 arrived in late 2020, M2 in mid-2022, M3 in late 2023, and M4 in mid-2024. Following this rhythm, the M5 chip is expected to debut in late 2025, likely in products like the MacBook Air or iPad Pro first, with the M5 Max and Ultra versions launching at WWDC 2026 alongside the Mac Studio refresh. This timing makes strategic sense. WWDC is Apple's biggest developer event, and the Mac Studio is the ultimate developer and creative machine. Showcasing the M5 Ultra's power for AI, rendering, and development workflows at this event would send a strong message about Apple's leadership in desktop computing. Another crucial element of the story is how Apple is positioning the M5 Mac Studio against traditional workstations. Historically, Professionals who needed extreme power turned to custom-built Windows rigs with discrete GPUs from NVIDIA or AMD. But Apple's 2 nanometer silicon and advanced neural architecture may change that equation dramatically. If the rumored specs hold true, the M5 Ultra could deliver comparable or better performance than high-end Windows workstations powered by RTX 6000 or Ryzen Threadripper CPUs, while drawing far less power, producing less noise, and integrating more tightly with creative software. Apple could effectively position the Mac Studio M5 as the world's most efficient professional workstation. Performance expectations are sky high. Based on early supply chain reports and leaked benchmarks, we could see up to a 30% CPU performance uplift over the M3 Ultra and a 40% jump in GPU performance. Real-world implications? Editing 8K ProRes footage in Final Cut Pro with multiple streams could become almost effortless. Complex 3D rendering in apps like Blender or Maya could see render time slashed in half. 
training an AI model that previously took 40 minutes might finish in under 25. And because the entire system runs silently and coolly, these tasks won't require massive workstation towers or noisy fans. The memory subsystem deserves special mention. Apple's unified memory architecture has always been a competitive advantage. And with LPDDR6 and expanded bandwidth, it's poised to be even more impressive.